What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Dermy Wormy. Now, we're going to do this. It's a big news. Personally, though, I couldn't give a rat's ass. I'm just going to come out and say it. Because I don't care about Insomniac's uh, Spider-Man games. I've never played a single one. I'm just talking about this because it is news. It is a subject that needs to be talked about. I know a bunch of people have already talked about it. It's a little news day. What you got to do? And remember, I always record these the night before and then put them out. But uh, let's just get into it, shall we? Because Insomniac basically killed their own company in one fell swoop. Uh, Miles Morales will be Insomniac's main Spider-Man going forward. Yeah, yeah. Um, real quick, Miles Morales is Miles Morales and Peter Parker is Spider-Man. That, that's the end of discussion. I don't care about this game. I've never cared anything about the game. I have seen some things about the game. I've heard how it ends. That, but what I am going to tell you is this is what comic book creators want. This is what everybody wants. Everybody wants Miles Morales to replace Spider-Man. Every, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Pardon me. That was an accident, but you get the drift. Everybody and Marvel, everybody across the board wants Miles Morales to be Spider-Man. They don't want Peter Parker to be your Spider-Man. They don't want you to have what you actually want. Think about all the side missions throughout Spider-Man 2. All, all the side missions that you don't have to do, but from my understanding, from things like what True Pop Culture has told me, things like Mr. Bug has told me, uh, in order to get certain uh, I guess, in-game hero points to help upgrade your stuff. You have to do the side missions in order to get those points. So you are forced there. You are therefore incentivized. You're not forced, but you're heavily incentivized to go out and do all sorts of weird stuff, uh, work with a girl that's not Miles Morales' girlfriend, but is Miles Morales? I, I don't know. Again, I don't really care. But what I will say is this is honestly the worst move Insomniac could have done. Because again, everybody wants to play as Peter Parker. Nobody really wants to play as Miles Morales. Everybody wants to be the Spider-Man. Nobody wants to really be Miles Morales. But let's read like what, but what I am going to say is this was always planned. And it's even in their, this interview that they did at Gizmodo. This is where all this information is coming from. And I'll, 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 I'll embiggen it for you. But this was always planned, and this was always the plan, even at Marvel. Marvel has just been having a harder time doing it because Peter Parker books, uh, they sell a whole lot better than anything Miles Morales does. But the whole plan was always to replace Peter Parker with Miles Morales. The biggest problem at the Mar uh, uh, like Marvel is Spider-Man, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, you know, main Spider-Man, Spider-Man itself. Yeah, those sell a lot. Those are what help keep the, the the lights on, essentially, in their cardboard cutout uh, house. Everything else basically doesn't work. And same goes for Miles Morales, that they want to basically be their new star. But let's read this. <clears throat> io9, you said earlier you basically knew right away that you wanted playable Venom. Venom. Does that also apply to the ending, ending this game with Miles as the main Spider-Man from now on? The uh, are to uh, the I guess the direct game directors who uh, I'll quickly scroll up and try to get their names. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, basically, where, where are they? I don't really care. Oh, Brittany Morris. Oh, Ben Afram and Brittany Morris. Okay, so we got we, we got their name, Brent, Ben Afram and Brittany Morris. Uh, scroll back down here, my uh, Morris. Okay, it was it's. It always felt very natural. I can speak. I know how to do that. And I think we all collectively thought it would happen. To me, it shows a great deal of evolution for Miles at the beginning of the game. We see him struggling to figure out what he wants to do with his life. By the end, we had Miles carrying the burden of saving the city and also carrying Peter when Peter wasn't strong enough to carry himself at various points. That's what's been so cool about writing a story about two Spider-Men. They're both strong, and one of them can be strong when the other is not. 
by the end, Miles is more confident and he's like, yeah, I got this. How much worse can things get after what we just went through? Afrin, to echo what Brittany said, the idea of the two Spider-Man story was always really essential to this game. I think pretty early on, we knew what we knew that we wanted to have the mo that moment of handing the reins over and what we developed it as we started to lay down more tracking track leading up to the moment. It just felt more and more right. I think it was John who wrote that scene in Aunt May's garage and it's uh, who the hell cares. I don't care anymore. Basically two things to take away. They planned on this from day one. They planned on this. This is something they wanted to do probably in uh, Spider-Man one to be, to be fair, but they couldn't because they had to establish Peter Parker. This is a narrative thing. They always wanted to make B miles Morales, your main event, your main Spider-Man. That even goes to the whole point of handing the reins over, handing the reins over, which is a stupid point in comics. In superhero storytelling, in comics, you can't hand the reins over. These are not mantles. These are people. Spider-Man is Peter Parker. When it comes to Captain America, and Captain America is a very good example of this, nobody can be Captain America except Steve Rogers. Why is that? Because Steve Rogers is physically Captain America. He is the Boy Scout. He is the golden guy. He is the go-to individual. Nobody else can be it. They even had a whole storyline of where Winter Soldier, uh, Bucky, tries to be uh, Captain America. And guess what? He physically can't. He is not Captain America. They acknowledge it. But throughout all of comics, throughout every little thing, Hollywood in general, they think you can just hand these reins off. Hand, they, all these positions are just platforms. We can just trade them off to a brand new character. No, you can't. You legitimately can't. It is physically impossible because we are connected to uh, Peter Parker, Spider-Man. We are connected to that character. Miles Morales is Miles Morales. Every single time you bring up Miles Morales, you have to say Miles Morales, Spider-Man. You can't just say Spider-Man because every time somebody says Spider-Man, they inherently think Peter Parker. And when it comes to these games, people want to play as Peter Parker, not Miles Morales. You have a handful of people that want to play as Miles Morales, okay? But they are the minority. The majority honestly wants to play Peter Parker, Spider-Man. They want to be Spider-Man, so why give them off-brand Spider-Man? Give them main Spider-Man. That's the whole point. And when it comes to Miles Morales, the biggest complaint about Miles Morales is he's just, spy he's just a crappier Peter Parker. He has no villains of his own. All of his villains are hand-me-downs. Every little thing he has is a hand-me-down from Peter Parker. The only difference is Prowl, but even Prowl is just a reskin version of a Peter Parker villain. So he's just a reskin Peter Parker. That's the biggest problem. He is not his own character. He everything about him boils down to the fact that he is just as uh, Eric July com commonly uh, 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 says it, Peter Darker. That's all he is. He is not his own character. He is not his own person. He's just a reskin version of Peter Parker. Why give us Miles Morales when we want Peter Parker? I'm going to leave it there, though. Let me get you guys' thoughts on all of this down in the comments below. If you like this video, get video, video, give it a thumbs up. Share it out, friends. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye for now. What's going on, guys? Listen, I don't know about you, but uh, I like to indulge in some of the uh, li liquids of fun times okay and oftentimes i wake up the next day with a, with a headache and stuff like that and to be honest the only way that truly helps cure these uh morning morning blues as as i would call them would be coffee and you know who puts out good coffee guys coffeebrandcoffee.com listen 
Coffee Brand Coffee is an American-based company. It, it was founded by the quartering. He's going out there. He just wants to sell you coffee. He doesn't want to sell you a political opinion. He doesn't care what your politicals are. He doesn't even care what your cultural opinions are, okay? He just wants to come out here and sell good American coffee sourced here in the States. It, it, it is... It, it is all fantastic and amazing. You have 4,000 verified reviews. Most of them are five star, four star. People are loving this. And I don't blame them because when you take a look at some of these flavors, you got bourbon flavored coffee. God dang, that sounds amazing. You got gunpowder green tea. I like the boom boom sticks and I want to know what's going on right there. And when I drink cocoa, I haven't drank it in a while due to the keto diet. You know, that, you know, trying to lose some weight. But when I do drink cocoa or anything like that, I like some sweetness. I like some richness and I like some enjoyability in my cocoa. That's why I'm taking a look over here at this rich caramel cocoa. I mean, just 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 think of how amazing it is and guys if you go to coffee brand coffee which links will be in the description down below you can use coupon code back taco one word back taco and you can get 10 percent off your purchase that's coffeebrandcoffee.com coupon code back taco